Your Olympic hero hasn't lied. It's true. It's true. You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Red Eye Responds. This episode is going to be different because I'm going to be responding to some of my old videos. I'll be responding to some of what I call my classic videos from, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012 era. But I'll also be responding to some of my other classic videos from, you know, 2015, give or take, when I rebooted the channel. We're going to start off with a video that I did forever ago called Boredom. It's one of the earliest videos on my channel. I've currently unlisted the original version. But I'll be showing a good majority of it on here, so you're not really missing out on anything because of that. You're going to see most of it here. So without further ado, let's jump in. We're really bored, so we just thought we'd say what we have on our minds. Now look at how young I look, and there, there's young Danny as well. There we are. Ten years ago, boys. Almost. Haven't quite hit the 10th anniversary. Getting close. Three months. We're both really excited for Halo 4, not Modern Warfare 3. That can go to hell and suck my fucking cock. Halo 4, that was the thing, wasn't it? Drastically disappointing game, but nowhere near as bad as Halo 5. Halo 4 actually had a fairly decent campaign, but kind of a shit multiplayer. Whereas Halo 5 actually had a pretty decent multiplayer, but an absolutely abysmally terrible campaign. I hate Call of Duty. And the whole angry Call of Duty thing, that's, uh, that's a whole other thing, isn't it? I used to really dislike Call of Duty, now I'm just kind of indifferent to it. Halo Anniversary. I'm excited for that. That is fucking amazing. Halo Anniversary was pretty decent. I mean, it was just a remaster of Halo 1 with achievements, terminals, and skulls, but it's still very fun, and I love Halo Anniversary, so fair enough. We're conspiracy theorists. Oh, boy. That takes me back. Yep, sure was at the time. Did a whole video looking at my old websites about it, too. Um, there's a link to our website about that, if you're curious about what that means exactly. Yep, the website. That was something, wasn't it? Don't just think of us as loonies at first. Do your research before you, you know. You know, I always said shit like, do your research, but the only research I used to do back then was to watch YouTube videos at like 3 a.m. and just believe blindly every piece of evidence that was brought before me, so... Really didn't have much room to talk, did I? We're both, um, hoping that Horror Fest 2 will be way better than Horror Fest 1. Horror Fest 2 is a lost video that I recorded shortly after the boredom video, and uh, we lost the phone it was on and therefore can't recover it. It was in a similar scenario to Anunnaki War, uh, but we found that phone. So, you know, there's always a chance we'll find Horror Fest 2, but I sincerely doubt it. But then again, I never thought we'd find Anunnaki War, so you never know. Maybe I'll make a new video about my modded Xbox, because my super cool modded Xbox video kind of wastes way too much time before it gets to the gameplay, and I would like to correct that error. I did actually do another video about my modded Xbox. It was part of my uh, 100 subscriber special, I believe. Yeah, it definitely was. Or maybe it was my 200 subscriber special. One of the two. I'll throw up on the screen which one it was now. Um, again, this is Danny. He's new to the team. This was Danny's second appearance on the channel. He did appear in Horror Fest 1 as well. He sporadically appeared in the channel during Gen 1 Red Eye, and uh, has every once in a while appeared in a video here and there since then, but not super active anymore on the channel, unfortunately. Um. Sorry, I have a habit of chewing on stuff. While it's true that I do have a habit of chewing on stuff, I think that I was kind of intentionally playing that up for the camera back then, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I know we both seem kind of, you know... Stupid. Hi. No, no, not funny. That was really bad. <laughs> God. Well, because we're just sitting here ranting in front of a camera, but if you get bored, just turn this shit off. I mean, seriously, what the fuck are you doing watching it if you don't like it? Oh, oh. I don't get why I used to do faces like this, like... You know, all the stupid little faces I do in these old videos. I have no idea why the fuck I did it. I was just hamming it up for the camera. And if you like the video, please comment. And if you really like it, subscribe. I've used that as a channel outro a couple of times. No. Any of our videos, if you like them, you can subscribe and comment on which one you like the best. And we'll continue it on. I mean, series. yeah, we're just starting making YouTube videos. You know, if we suck, we'll get better. Just don't hate. Yeah, fuck all haters. Ew, fuck all haters, what a fucking cringy ass thing to say. I used to say stupid shit like that all the time. Fuck all haters, I see, because look what you proved. 
I see you duck, you little punk, you little fucking disease. I got a two tattooed on the front of... No, but I used to really like Hollywood Undead back then, which is what that was, and ew. <laughs> oh, mm, what kind of music do you like, Ants? Um, my favorite music is Eminem, Michael Jackson, and Vinnie Paz. I also like Red and Hollywood Undead. Yeah, same here, but I'm more into alternative rock. Like right. Red. Right. Music tastes definitely have changed. I still like a lot of the music I listened to back then. Um, some of it ironically, some of it nostalgically. Um, I would say Danny's taste in music has drastically changed too. Uh, he tends to favor more like metal nowadays. Back then he was much more into the alternative stuff. But I'd say he much more listens to like heavy metal now. And uh, favorite movies. Mine was Battle L.A. this Mine year. Too. That was amazing. Battle L.A. was a shitty movie. It was okay at best, but for whatever reason, when the two of us first saw it, we really fucking liked it back then. Not a great movie. Not terrible. It was alright. But definitely not as good as we were giving it praise for here. Uh, I'm waiting to see the new Transformers movie. I know it sounds kind of quirky, but, you know, I'm excited for it. Oh, how quirky you were, Danny boy. No, but in all seriousness, I, I did like those movies too back then. I, I do kind of have a soft spot for them. I'm not saying they're good. They're pretty fucking bad, but I have a soft spot. I'm not gonna lie. I like the second one, but I'm glad they finally got rid of Megan Fox. I mean, no offense, but in my opinion, I really don't think she's hot. I, You see way too much rib on that chick. Like, Megan Fox is not hot. <laughs> well, I do kind of stand by that. I actually think I was much too harsh on Megan Fox here. She is a fairly attractive woman, very pretty face, and very good body. I don't know what the fuck she was problems. Look at her thumbs, even. I don't know what the fuck I was on about here. The whole thumb thing that I got to... Absolute bullshit. I was just basically parroting shit I had heard a bunch of other people say. That's just his opinion. Do you think she's hot? No, but she's not ugly either. That's a fairly fair assessment, but I actually do think she is much more attractive than I was giving her credit for. Like, she's not, definitely not, like, the hottest thing ever, and I do agree with my past self that her face is her best feature, but uh, I definitely think I was far too harsh on her back then. She's okay. Her face is her best feature, if you ask me. That's about it. Her face is okay. I think her face is fucking gorgeous. I don't know what the hell I was saying. Okay. Her face, again, her best feature by far. Uh, that fucking push. Danny does shit like that all the time. He used to do it a hell of a lot more, but he gets a kick out of that, and I sure as hell do not. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get around to my Conquer Live and Reloaded series making another video. It's about damn time, right? So that original Conquer video is one of the ones I deleted when I rebooted the channel. It's unfortunate because... It definitely could have been, you know, a piece of red-eye history, but it was essentially me holding a camera up to the TV playing Conker's Live and Reloaded. Uh, but I have since done a full playthrough and several streams on it, so I think that more than makes up for the fact that I carelessly deleted a bunch of videos back then. And maybe some pornos if... No, no pornos. <laughs> no sex, no pornos. Like... <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. The stupid little... <laughs> like that? <laughs> Pornos. No pornos. I've used that as a channel outro for trailers, too. The whole head smack thing was because I was fucking embarrassed by the dumb li 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 thing, but whatever. We're not Pornhub. We're not PornTube either, and we're not TubeAid. We're not my lesbian babes. We're not any of those stupid porn sites. You wouldn't know. Shut up. Shut up! The little fake anger with the shut up! It's because he was 100% right. I was very familiar with all of those sites I named off, otherwise I wouldn't have. Well, goodbye, and fuck all haters. That's about it. Bye. Yeah. And fuck all haters. <laughs> all right, so that was that one. Here's a real cringe treat. My old rant about 9-11, originally titled The Rant Episode 1, 9-11. This one, of course, is also unlisted because it's absolute cringe and autism, but uh, let's jump in. Just a heads up, from here on out, the video gets very quiet for my older videos. I upped the volume as much as I possibly fucking could. But unfortunately, with how low the audio was on the originals, they're still very hard to hear. I do apologize for that, but there's not a whole lot I could do. This is the rant. That'll be our new series about us just bitching about stuff. The Rant is a series that I did, you know, on and off for a while. I actually recently did a new episode of it uh, just a couple days ago, but I removed the episode numbers because there are several episodes that are either privated or unlisted because either A, I disagree with what I said, or they're just badly made videos or a combination of the two. First off, we're going to talk about how 9-11 was utter bullshit. 
You like Young Jacob's uh, utter bullshit. Like, both he and I were doing these stupid voices, which you'll see plenty of in this video. So let me just give you a few facts, just to prove you disbelievers of the conspiracy. All right, let's, let's hear them straight facts that damn knowledge bombs, am I right? Are we going to get Lamborghinis? Um, Bush was in charge of the um, security on the towers. I have literally no evidence to back that up. And he removed all the bomb squad dogs and all that kind of jazz, and he put... I think I legitimately read that on a forum post without, without fact-checking it. ...in some sort of paint with thermite in it, and thermite is extremely explosive. Well, it was a special kind of thermite that explodes ten times faster, and the airplanes did not cause the columns to collapse. It was the thermite paint. Those were just popular theories at the time that, again, I have no evidence to back. It got so hot that the, um... What the fuck are those weird faces I was making? Am I checking my goddamn self out in the camera? I'm like... What the fuck is that? Support beams, they just melted and the building collapsed. Not to mention, to... right before the plane was to hit the building, there was a small explosion, so... See, that one I saw on some video evidence, which I have not corrobor corroborated the, uh, the authenticity of. But, in all honesty, and I'm being perfectly honest with you, 9-11 is still one that I think is kind of iffy. At the very least, I don't think we have all the information. I wouldn't go as far as I did back in this rant, but in all honesty, there is some shit that I don't think adds up. And this is one of them. Now, again, I haven't authenticated said video footage I saw. And I saw it fucking years ago. Take everything in that with a grain of salt. And again, that's why I'm discrediting this, because it's very poorly made, because there is no evidence presented... And I don't agree with a lot of what it said, although I do agree with the key premise that 9-11 was shady, at the very least. Then, of course, um, the Pentagon. That was clear of a, what the hell, of a missile. That little glitch, the whole, oh, what the hell? I, I don't know what caused that. That's why I said, what the hell? But, um, essentially I was going on this thing about the Pentagon being hit by a missile instead. Um, that was based entirely off of an episode of Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. In fact, I think that's where I got a lot of my facts for this video, so there you go. The um, Pentagon was clear, if you watch the video in slow-mo, you can see a missile clearly hits it. Again, this was based solely on an episode of Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. Entertaining as hell show, but uh, I do think that there is plenty of information to be desired on the sources I was using. And, yeah. and they never found any plane near it either. Of a 747. Exactly. Once again, there are plenty of things that don't add up to me about it. I'm not going to say I'm a whole truther or anything like that. I just think that there are definitely questions that could use answering. I'm not saying one thing about it or the other. I'm just saying there are definitely questions I have about the information regarded around it. So, you know, yeah. And the official story to 9-11 was that Al-Qaeda did it, did it, and that the person in charge of it was Bin Laden even though at the time he refused that he did it. Then when two years later, he apparently fessed up to doing this act. Once again, we have no evidence here supporting it, but uh, if that is true, that is a bit odd, but that's the kind of thing that terrorists do, is they randomly take credit for things later on. Everything we're saying in this, we have no fucking evidence to support. Anyways, so... If it was Bin Laden and he, and he was doing it for his beliefs, wouldn't he have been proud of it the first time? Again, that weird fake accent I keep doing. I don't know why the hell I did that. So, um, the U.S. government is not telling the full truth about happen what happened on 9-11. Again, not telling the full truth is something I could probably get behind, because, again, there are a lot of questions I have. And, again, I'm not saying that there's any sort of conspiracy there. I'm just saying there are a lot of unanswered questions. And I think that I was way over the top off my rocker when I made that video. As I, and if you don't believe me, go to DavidIke.com. Ew. Oh, no, no, no. I used to listen to David Icke. That was where I fucked up. David Icke was fucking nuts. Still is fucking nuts. He's basically a cult leader. Allegedly. Not a real cult leader. Like, let's, let's, let's not say anything that could be uh, depicted as slander. Um, but he has a lot of cult-like things that he says and that his followers tend to listen to. And I used to, unfortunately, fall under that category. 
It's fucking weird. He's the one who popularized the reptilian theory, if you don't know. And that's enough of that. There's a little bit more, but nothing substantial. You get the idea. I was ranting on about shit without any evidence, just perpetuating a popular conspiracy theory about 9-11. Now let's take a look at another video I did that was a conspiracy theory one, but interestingly, is worse because it contradicts what my key values are now. It's very different. I was like polar opposite of what I am now. You know what I love? I don't know how many people have seen this, but that old proactive body wash commercial, they don't show it anymore, but it showed boobs on TV. That it did. There was an old pro proactive solution body wash commercial that showed boobs on TV. It did. It got pulled a few days later because they realized their mistake and they replaced it with a guy's chest, but it happened. Uncensored. It was interesting for sure. And there's been these adult swim commercials recently that say adult swim Freemasons, secret partners for 162,000 years, and... Well, that's just Adult Swim's sense of humor. I was just being retarded here, taking it 100% literally. I mean, subliminal messages and indecency in television are getting too obvious. Once again, the Adult Swim thing was a joke, and the whole indecency thing is something I no longer stand by, because I used to be much more of a pussy when it came to that shit. Like, like you know now, I'm 100% anti-censorship of any kind, so that little bitch fit I threw there would not happen now. Seriously, it's like they're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're not trying to hide it because there's nothing to hide. It's a fucking joke with the Adult Swim thing. I mean, the all-seeing eye is in everything. Yes, and it's a fucking meme now, too. It doesn't make any sense how people cannot see this. I mean, there's... Nobody can see it because it's a fucking joke, you moron. Things in everything. And... I don't know, it just... You know, that commercial was aired on TV with kids, and obviously they probably had an editor look over it, and the editor probably didn't give a shit. So again, the whole thing, oh, a kid might have seen it, it I, I don't follow that anymore. Like, my idea is, look, censoring and sheltering people from st stuff at a young age doesn't do shit for them. If anything, it just does them, you know, disservice as they get older. Like, I'm not saying show them fucking Saw, but, you know... You gotta teach kids the real world, or else they're not gonna fucking understand it when they get in the real world. That's enough of that shit. Um, let's move on to the next one. The next video we're gonna be looking at is one I rebooted the channel with in 2015. And just a look back at Gen 2 Red Eye. When I brought the channel back after the three-year hiatus. You know what I love? Watching Fugitive Red Eye, your home for shitty webcam videos. Man, do I miss that intro. You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, your home for shitty webcam videos. I kept the you're watching Fugitive Red Eye part, but I got rid of the your home for shitty webcam videos thing because that's no longer an accurate description of the channel. This is my new series. This is the first episode of this segment known as Movies You Probably Never Fucking Heard Of. I quite like that series, actually. Movies You Probably Never Fucking Heard Of is one of my favorite ser video series to make, so I really like that one. I need to do more of that. I really do. With me, as always, is my esteemed colleague Dozer Mac and Snowman. So the joke there was, Dozer Mac and Snowman had not appeared on the channel before. Uh, Snowman had been involved in the channel before, but this was his first appearance as Snowman. And this was Dozer Mac's first time having anything to do with the channel. So the, the joke is, he's with me as always, but the, the, jo the joke there is he's never been with me before. Today we will be talking about the cult classic. By cult classic, I mean trash that nobody's seen. Brother Lynch Hung's Now Eat, the movie. Now eat the movie. That is something else. That is the movie that inspired me to reboot the channel. Because I'm like, nobody's fucking heard of this. And so I'm like, movies you've probably never fucking heard of. Which was kind of a play on Ashen's series that he used to do called Terrible Old Games You've Probably Never Heard Of. Um, but uh, with movies instead. And they don't have to be terrible. It's just, it's unknown. It was made to coincide with the album. It has the mi very misleading description on the back of the case. I would say the description isn't that misleading, it's just not very good of a movie. So that's the way that it was misleading. I'm going to actually fast forward a little bit through this description because I don't think that's relevant to this video. His own record label, Sick Made Music. One of my favorite things about this video is all the weird shit that Dozer Matt kept doing in the background, like making faces, taking a sip of his drink. And stuff like that. Both dark and funny, this horror comedy 
will tickle your funny bone and raise the hair on the back of your neck. Come see the darkest passages of rap brought to light. Now that is not true at all. Now that him blowing vape in my face, that was not planned. That was just him doing it just for the fuck of it. I think it's one of the best parts of the video, though. <laughs> I mean, I love the movie because it's, like, terrible and good at the same time. Because it's so bad that it's funny. And the ending is fantastic. And, you know, I mean, Brother Lin Chung, if you're unfamiliar, he's a rapper who's been around since the 90s. Yeah, Brother Lin Chung is a very interesting rapper. He has a very distinct style to be about, you know, cannibalism and murder and all this horrible shit. He's had a lot of albums. Um, I still enjoy his music to an extent. Not as much as I did back then, mind you. I was very into it around the 2013 through 2015 era. I would say, if you're a uh, fan of the cult trauma classic Redneck Zombies, you may be at least slightly interested in this because it's the same basic concept of a camcorder making low-budget... Um, very cheesy films. Yeah, I'd agree with that statement, although I honestly didn't like Redneck Zombies that much. It was, like, too bad to watch. Alright, here's where Snowman gives his input. Uh, he's much more harsh than I am, so let's see what he had to say. It's garbage. It's the worst movie I've ever sat through the first part of. Couldn't finish it. It's garbage. Don't watch it. Yeah, see, like I said, very harsh on it. Also, why do I keep doing that weird thing where I rub my legs and move them apart? I don't like that. Ew. All right, now for Dozer Max input. Let's hear it. And uh, that's me. I'm Dozer Max. This movie, I just, I don't know what to say about it. It's so bad that it's good. It's, it, it, it's horrible. You should definitely watch it. It's that bad. God, those fucking leg rubs and faces I make. Holy fuck. Fuck. <laughs> but I just I don't I don't know. I, I just don't know about that movie. Now eat. Now eat. Now that face and saying now eat was a reference to the ending of the movie, because Lynch does that at the end. Anyway, that's all I have today. Just a, a snippet of older days on Red Eye. Apologies for the low audio on some of them, but they were recorded with really shit microphones on webcams. So, not a whole lot I could do about that. I upped the volume as much as I possibly could, and it didn't do much. But yeah, anyway, that's all I had to say. Hopefully you enjoyed me responding to my younger self. Maybe I'll do some more of it in the future. We'll see. I got plenty of stuff stored in the classic Red Eye Vault that I could uh, bring out and respond to. But yeah, toodles. Here come my fans.